Hey, Jaden, good to see you. Hello, yeah, Brian. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. How was yeah. your ride to Austin? Oh, it was quite long, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I can so, imagine. Hey, the reason I'm here is I wanted to ask you how security is built into 5G. You know, you ask a question, one could write a book behind this, uh, but I'll try to attempt it in 30 seconds or less. Uh, Inherently in communications world, we are a very standards driven um, vertical and 3GPP, GSMA and all these standards bodies have done a phenomenal job taking security as one of the first paradigms into building into this ecosystem of what we call 5G. Um, encryptions, authentication, identity management, all those philosophies both at the control plane, data plane, management plane across the ecosystem of what we call our network has been inherently built in and driven a lot by standards. Now think about this, you know, this has been the case uh, from the era or the dawn of the 2G, 3G on the wireless side and into the convergence that what we are doing in the 5G. One thing I must say that in the 5G ecosystem, just because the device ecosystem, the promise of 5G to these verticals and the complexity around new services that we are unleashing, uh, security becomes a paramount and a front and center discussions mm -hmm. for 3GPP and, and standard bodies. And I must say they are doing a fantastic job and, and we are collaborating and heavily contributing to that landscape. So does that mean we're done? No way. Um, I wish, Brian, uh, uh, we were done at this point in time taking the standards and specifications and implementing into our software. But uh, I must say that what we are leading up to a very complex system, uh, no longer we are vertically integrating applications, we are on a horizontal platform. Um, that means we are in a multi-tenant cloud native environment. Uh, we got to behave with other tenants uh, as we onboard our applications into this broader cloud and that in in inherent brings up quite a bit of complexity on the security paradigm, how we build secure application ground up. Also this promise of um, B2B and creating new value, we are fast moving into an, a zone where what we call the sassification of the service. I candidly call that uh, network as a service, software as a service is becoming a big paradigm. And that's actually bringing up new nuances to security, especially when you have new entry points to accessing the networks through API and SDKs. That's a unique challenge. Um, and if I park up, you know, with the metaverses we are talking about, you have seen at Nokia, we talk about the industrial, the enterprise and the consumer metaverse. The enormous amount of device ecosystem and endpoints is going to be enormous. And you got to start thinking about all these use cases and services how they attaches to the network and how is security inbuilt into the systems just like back in the 2G days when you only had a mobile phone attaching to the network. So it's a very complex um, problem to solve and it needs a refreshed look out there.